Australia is an island nation with a history and love of the sea and a strong tradition of shipbuilding. We're a vast landmass surrounded by 60,000 kilometres of coastline. 90% of our tradable goods are transported by sea. Our national security, capability and interest are best served by having a world-class maritime engineering industry here. Our industry is a world-class facility um, and sector. Our Navy has um, world-class ships and submarines that suit our conditions. Australian quality is second to none. Uh, I know we've got the uh, Osiaka, she'll be right mate attitude, or you know, supposedly, but um, our quality compared to overseas quality, it's, you just can't really compare it. So one of the unique things about our Navy is the distances they need to travel and a lot of the overseas designs don't cater for that, so that's really why we need to build our ships here. I have no doubt that we could build the best quality ships in Australia and even the world. Some of the technology that we are using in, for our Navy at the moment is cutting edge, and the ships behind me are just a classic example of what we can achieve and what we can do with the expertise that we have in Australia. It's important that our Defence Force are, uh, are using Australian built ships Australian built equipment because they know it's some of the best quality in the world and Australians are right behind them trying to defend our country and our interests. Right now, Australia has major shipyards in every state. AMWU members in these yards have come together nationally to campaign to make sure jobs are sustained and that the local industry grows. In 2015, we are facing a drop off in work that could do permanent damage to the industry. Avoiding this valley of death, where jobs and skills are lost because workflows are not managed properly, is the first step to keeping jobs here. If we don't keep building ships now, um, 10 years down the track there won't be new apprentices learning how to build ships and that skill set will be lost. Well I think it's, it's important for the, uh, the future of the economy, I mean not just um, the current skills that we have at the minute, but it's for the next generation that's coming through. So our workers have a lot of pride in the work they do and and they want to have jobs for their children and their children's children. The politicians at both state and federal level need to act on this immediately. If they wait too long, then the valley of death catches up, we lose our skills and it's too late. According to recent Defence White Papers, Australia will need 48 naval vessels over the next 30 years, including the centrepiece, 12 new submarines. The design, build and maintenance of this fleet will be a $250 billion spend by our government. If we did get that $250 billion contract to build these 48 vessels here in Australia, the flow on effect is going to go on to not just your suppliers to the shipbuilding industry, it's also going to go on to the local communities. It's vitally important for the shipbuilding industry to have continuity in the supply and demand. This means smart thinking from the politicians, from the Navy and from the industry to make sure that we can produce world-class ships that we can, given time, end up exporting to other countries in the world. Our campaigners have taken this message to Canberra, calling on all politicians to sign a pledge of support. We took um, shipbuilding delegates from all our shipbuilding yards to meet um, politicians to talk through the issues around the challenges facing this very important sector. We wanted a, a partisan support um, for the future of the shipbuilding industry and it's, it's critical that we get um, future work after uh, 2015. So that was the message that we, we're driven up there. We, it's the future that we're looking for for the shipyards. The AMWU campaign, design, build and maintain our ships here, is a long way from over. But it has already gained some significant victories. Work is being redistributed to avoid job loss in some yards and both sides of politics are giving consideration to which shipbuild can be brought forward. The government has suspended investigation of off-the-shelf or foreign design submarines in favour of local design and build. And it's been a valuable learning process. The most important thing I've learnt through this campaign is the amount of people that will lose their jobs and possibly lose an industry if we don't build ships here in Australia. 
One of the things I've learnt on this campaign is that we're never going to get handed anything on a plate. So if we want a world-class maritime industry, we need to get out there and fight for it. The Valley of Death is a nationwide problem for all the shipyards in Australia. And working with those delegates, I've learnt that it's, it's not us and them, we're all comrades with a common cause. The campaign continues to pressure politicians to commit to one of the biggest nation building programs our country will see. As much as the issue being fought for is right, so too it's important to build union strength to achieve a successful outcome. This campaign is being driven by workers and union members who love their industry and understand that we need to work together to win. Part of the campaign is to um, activate our membership, to talk to those workers who are not union members, to involve them in the campaign, to get them to come and join um, our union, and to engage both in the workplace industrial campaign and the community campaign. As far as the campaign helping to, uh, for, with membership, we're pretty well 100% blue collar, although it has it's helped with the white collar, a lot of interest in the TSA division of our union. Yeah, look, the white collar realise that if we're not building ships, they're not designing them, they're not engineering them. Well, our members need to go out, talk to their local politicians, their federal politicians in their electorate. They've got to get out and get the message, talk to their friends, talk to their family, let them know, look, you know, take it to their work, where the, maybe their wife works. Let them know that this industry could be killed off like that. It could disappear, but if there's funding there, the government's prepared to make a continuous build and continue with the funding that there will be a generation of people, maybe the next generation as well, there's 50 years of work that Australians could be building ships here in Australia. We need to build, design and maintain our ships in Australia. It's good for Australia, it's good for jobs. We need to design, build and maintain our ships here in Australia. So if everyone gets online, emails their politician, and tell your mates that we want to build ships here. Our home is girt by sea and we need to keep building our boats in Australia. It's in all of our interests to keep shipbuilding here in Australia, not just for us but for our kids' futures as well. Australia, girt by sea, should design, build and maintain our ships.